No, it, honestly, if you didn't pick it, then I would have just eaten it for myself. It would have been Danny's nice. Would have <laughs> Danny's like, oh, yeah, can I have for the budget? And he goes, yeah, it's just going to be my lunch. <laughs> awesome. Listen, I wanted to, you told me to bump it up, make it better. I didn't mean spend it on eggs. I have never been squeezed in so much. Like, I, I should have taken a picture, honestly. How do you not take a picture? I know, I really should have. It was it was impossible for me to get in on either side of the car. Is there a ever a chance on the planet that you would order that at a restaurant? By like, the way, if I'm an insurance agent and this comes across my desk, I'm not going to launch an investigation, create a bunch of paperwork for myself. I'm just going to go, okay, yeah, Bear destroyed the car. Welcome back to the Picky Boys. Do you hear those bells? Here comes the bells. The Here. jingle bells. Oh. Wait, what song was that? Isn't that the, the Trans Siberian Orchestra. Orchestra? Oh shit! Jingle the, something. Is it the Here bells. Comes the Bells? No, no, no. 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 Oh, no, no. <laughs> I, was it just, it, I just needed words. I'm not gonna go. Bam, 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 bam. I could have done the that. The bells actually. are not coming. Uh, we are gonna do uh, naughty or nice, where we have to pick something either good or very bad. Yeah, it's the. Uh, but before that, uh, you should buy Picky Boys holiday merch. It's live right now on PickyBoys.com. Some beautiful pieces. And uh, just, uh, you know, the holiday season's coming up and there's a lot of, you know, production and transit issues possibly. So the best way to do it is to get your order in before the 10th, just to make sure it gets here before Christmas. I would say do it earlier just in case because you never know what's going to happen, you know, with like, I don't know, a truck rolls over or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You never know. So I would get it in uh, before the 10th, pickyboys.com. And remember, Diamond here on Patreon, patreon.com slash the pickyboys gets 15% off the whole merch store. We've seen a lot of people put in the codes and it essentially pays for the month itself as soon as you put in an order, plus some. Just saying. Just saying. You just, you, you, you just say that. That was a beautiful, beautiful, that. that was a beautiful, well orchestrated. Just got, get you. That was beautiful. Was Self praise is better than no praise. I had nothing. I had crickets back there. Crickets it, was, back there. it was great. It was okay. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm also trying this. Yeah, I'm just you're trying, trying to stall. No, stop yeah. stalling. I have a direct line of communication with Santa Claus, and he sent me these, so I do know what's inside them. Therefore, I cannot pick. Mm. This week's naughty or nice. By the way, it's uh, for those who are new here. Naughty or nice happens every single podcast in December, mm -hmm. and then uh, this month actually. Uh, on December 25th, Christmas itself, we're doing our mega naughty or nice. Yeah, I think it's the first year it actually it lands on Christmas. Yeah, usually it's just the podcast before Christmas. And and remember, we're gearing up to like December 27th is the subathon. Sure. So we're gearing up to that. Um, we, we've announced that on the pod? I don't know, but now we just did. Yeah, we have. Um, all right. Uh, so I know what's inside them, so I cannot pick. It's a standard naughty or nice this time, so it's just one naughty, one nice. You two have to decide. We've got two scrolls as as per usual. Mm. Right, well, are we gonna know what the other one is if we pick? No, not this week. This this Man. box is all. What is this? A dresser from your room? Yeah. This box is all warped and ugly. We've used these for two years. We know it's not. So as well, that one looks nice. So I kind of <laughs> want to go with the left what here. What are you talking about? Look at the this, top. This it has some wood warping. Someone oh, I see. Spilled some water. I in see. Here. I see. So you want to go with this one? Oh, you want to go for the ugly one, the ugly duckling? I'm not getting mm. the disparity of how ugly these two things are as much as you are. They look both beautiful to me. Oh, there's a chip in this one, actually. Oh, this ugly bitch. Yeah, right let's here. go with this one. Oh, no, Pretty that one, one has more chips, actually, now that I'm looking at it. That, one is, that one's chipped in the front. He doesn't take care of his things. These, that's true. You know what? Yeah, let's just bag on that. Um, Eenie, meenie, Santa's toes. Iffy hollers. Santa's toes. Now you're on the naughty list. Danny is a little bitch. Damn it. It's this one. All right. Let's go this one on the right here. You want to do this one? Yeah. Oh, I didn't like the way he said that. I didn't like that you either. You like to do this one. All right. The decision has been made. Can I read it? No. Damn it. <laughs> I did. The title is Something's Fishy. <laughs> I wanted to go with the pretty one over here. But. Oh. This is the nice. Oh, woohoo! Today, with you one. will be able to. I mean, listen. This is nice. It might be the nice. We have to do it either way, even if you don't. Even if you don't think it's nice. But today, we will be enjoying some caviar service. Oh yeah! It's some crackers, some creme fraiche, and some caviar. Hey, you know what? I never had caviar. This is a good opportunity to try it. Caviar so sucks. this is the nice one, right? This is the nice. Of course, it's Let's nice. Go. The nice one was caviar. It's a it's a, a delicacy. People spend a lot of money on it. I wanted, a, you know, like a piece of fruit or a Kit Kat. That's or not nice. I mean. Thank you for picking out gluten-free crackers. I see course, you, Danny. Of course, of course. You got the brown rice snaps. You can tell as soon as you said crackers, JT was like, well, I guess I'm out of this. Have you ever had caviar? 
Yeah. That sounds like you're not a fan. I'm not. Really? Yeah, I don't like Why it. Why is that? It's just really salty and gross. Oh, okay. This is a sturgeon caviar. and uh, so It's really salty and gross, you said? Yeah. Did, we went to a place for, try one of those? for for Brian's birthday. We went to the, a place because Brian's weird and fancy, and they served uh, martinis and with caviar as, like, the garnish. Do you want to know the, You want to know what's mm. in with this one? These crackers are really good. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Are you sure? What's in that one? If 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 you t if if you um if we know I'm gonna I'm going to put this one into the um the big naughty or nice then if we no no, not? no so I'm gonna reveal it and then this will be entered into the big naughty or nice and if we don't reveal it it's not no it will be it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> was this one right, fish so poop what what did we miss out on you missed out on it's called instantly upset <laughs> we all would have picked a number and then. Using just our mouths, we would have had to make these instant things. So this is instant coffee. You coffee grinds in water. Make that in your mouth. This is instant oh ranch dip. Oh, my God. Make that in your mouth. And this one, this is going to be a good one. This is mashed potatoes. Oh, that looks so good. You make that in your mouth. Cheddar and sour cream? Very dry. That I'd rather have that than the caviar. The Cheddar, no. sour cream, what potatoes? Are you talking about? That would have actually been, yeah, instant upset. Very, very appropriate name. Thank you. Thank so that you. that one will be or might be in the bigger one. Yes, one of those one of those items will be in the big one, so that you can look forward to. Oh, that. one of them. Okay, yeah, I don't want to do that. How's the cracker? It looks like the the Eucharist. It's okay. great. It needs salt, but it, it tastes like a good church wafer. That's why. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. I well, just I just use the bigger word for it. Have salt. Oh, it came with a little spoon. I must have thrown that out. A little spoon there, right? What's that? That was for the creme fraiche. I don't know if you what do. What the fuck is creme fraiche? Fresh cream. Oh. French cream. No, fresh cream. But that might be French. French cultured cream. Kind of smells like yogurt. God, this sucks. Like, no part of this is good. I have, I have gluten free ass crackers. Oh my God. Can this guy stop complaining about fucking eating caviar? Cursed. Put it in the jar. <laughs> that didn't happen yet. Oh, sorry. Jesus Christ. He's giving away everything. Spoil for Christ's sake. Spoiler alert. All right. How much does that cost? No, it's fake caviar. No, nope. well, I'm I'm just curious because blow out the budget. Caviar is expensive, right? So how much does a little thing like that cost? Don't worry about it. <laughs> is it really that much? <laughs> no, no, it's not oh. that much. But it was um, twenty bucks. How much of the budget was that? It was about half the budget. Oh my god! Wait, what? how much is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! How much does a little fucking tiny thing of caviar cost? He cursed, put it in the jar. Uh, it's it, that stop you revealing. <laughs> how much does it cost? Uh, this little tiny thing. Was Sixty bucks. Oh, in a little fucking <laughs> jar, little. and we almost didn't pick it. I would, I would have included it in next week's Naughty or Nice. I'm not gonna waste. <laughs> we it. almost didn't. Pick no, it. honestly, if you didn't pick it, then I would have just eaten it for myself. It would have been Danny's nice. Guy would have <laughs> Danny's like, oh yeah, can I have for the budget? And he goes, yeah, it's just gonna be my lunch. <laughs> awesome. Listen, I wanted to. You told me to bump it up, make it better. I didn't mean spend it on eggs. Fish eggs? Okay, well, fucking do it. This is the Picky Boys Caviar Taste Test. He cursed, put it in the jar. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be cheaper caviar, no? There is. There is none. Not Isn't there like orange ones? Those are probably the cheap ones. No, but ones. that's salmon roe. I'm not going to. That's not real caviar. Look at this fancy ass motherfucker you're talking about. If which I, which I'll, fish I'll has the you, best eggs? I'll tell you this much. If I came on here and said, oh, we're having caviar, and then I put bum ass salmon roe on these crackers, somebody in the comments would have called me out. It looks like you could make a mini little boba tea. It does look like that. Uh, can I get cream? What 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 does a uh, cream fresh taste like? Uh, I was really is it like sweet or is it more? I have no idea. I was really hoping it tastes like cream cheese, but I don't think it's gonna. It does smell like yogurt. It smells like yogurt. God, this is it's not... a cultured cream, which Dude. I think is kind of what yogurt is. I could show you yeah. a cultured cream. This has. I don't want too much cream. I want to really try the cra this, caviar. This you're gonna taste the caviar. This this has really? zero smell appeal. Zero. We'll see. Listen, this is what, what do you mean? We'll see. You just smell. This it. is what the elites eat. Don't you want to be elite? No, they're <laughs> no, I don't. Well, let's see if it's worth the hype. Dink it. Dink it. Piggy boys try white sterling caviar. All right, I think just. Yeah. It's not bad. Oh, I put I put too much of the cream on. I think yeah, I had a look like you guys put way too much yeah. cream. No, I had a perfect combo. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. 
You have another one. You might as well use it. Yeah, give me, <laughs> yeah, give me one more. Give me one more. Let me let me try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna change up my cream ratio a little bit. Oh god, we're getting the caviar and the cream. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think, JT? I'll tell you what. I had this in my martini. It was much worse. It was much oh, worse. Though. Why would you? That's that sounds like a waste of caviar, kind of. This guy doesn't listen to any story I ever say. Oh, I mean, you, it, you know, martini. I said it five minutes ago. Here. He did. Uh. <laughs> This guy just, you know what he does? He's like, okay, I'm not talking. I'm not talking. No, I can't well, wait to talk. I, I can't mean, wait to you know, talk. You know what, oh, Frank, it's silence you know what talk. frankly it is? I'm, 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 I've, set up a, I've set up a thing here, and I have to focus entirely on that. So exactly what I just said. I, I didn't hear you. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the caviar? Yeah. Fuck that. He doesn't get it. <laughs> Jason, you want it? Come on, come try a little. Twelve dollars worth, right there. Yeah, this is like eighteen dollars worth of caviar. I feel like an ass. By the way, this was the cheap one. I hate this. This is and so they, they were all one ounce. This is one ounce of caviar. It does kind of just taste like salt. Like this, it tastes like salt. Yeah. I, I tried to bite right, with Jason, just the cream, and then I tried to bite with the the eggs, and and it kind of just added an element of salt. This really. Pretty... I've never had caviar. He's never had caviar. That's that's not enough. You can't put that whole crack in your mouth then. Here we go. All right. It's not no, it's enough. I think you need more cream, maybe. I mean, just no, try that. Try it. Ooh. You need a... Oh. Not Jason. Oh, my God. Mm-mm. What? You guys all of a sudden don't like it? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I, the, the, the first one, I had a much better ratio. Too much caviar on that one. It's definitely about the ratio. Yeah. He's, my, he's throwing up over there. Mine was delish, honestly. That was mine was that that the cream ratio was way better. He put three eggs on it. And he's throwing up. I didn't throw up. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you this: it's definitely not like anywhere close enough to the money to be. Good. Absolutely like, not. It's not. It's I'll not. I'll tell you that much. There's Absolutely no not. world where I would buy. I don't care if I have a billion dollars. I'm still not buying that. And I mean, to be fair. If there's some kind of, I don't know, high society pe- person in the chat, they might say, well, that's shitty caviar, which may be true. I did buy it at uh, uh, Whole Foods, so. I mean, I don't know. But I but I just, I, I, I do think that there's just no world in which it's worth it. It's like, you're bit, you are paying for, like, expensive salt, kind of. <laughs> that's really what it feels like. You're paying for um, textured, bubbly egg salt. I should have mentioned this before. I do have a fish allergy. Does that count as fish? No, they're... Mm-hmm. Uh, You'll be fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll find out by the end of the episode if I start. You have an al- a fish allergy? Yeah, I don't exactly know what types of fish, but I've eaten fish a handful of occasions and gotten allergic reactions to cod specifically, I know. Okay. Triggered me. Uh, <laughs> cod cod triggered them. But I've had like tuna and then not had a reaction, so I don't know which. How so- about you tell your body to stop being so weird? Yeah. Because yeah. what is that about? JT's gonna have a a, a a shock collar intolerance soon. It's just every yeah, every yeah, yeah. bad thing we do here. Well, this is a good thing, but every bad thing we do here. Uh, but yeah, that's the Pinky Boy Try Caviar. Danny, you know what this I'm was? I'm glad I tried it. Do you know what this was? Danny just always wanted to try caviar. I've had caviar before. Danny's always wanted to try caviar twice, and then he goes, "How do we get it done?" Can you explain why why salmon roe? Why is that shit caviar and that doesn't count? What is it? How does that work? It could Still be, fish it, eggs, it no? Could, it could be good caviar. It is, but but it's just like, well, first of all, it's not caviar prices by any means. An ounce and a half of salmon roe was like $10. Get that one. Also, I've had salmon roe in sushi, and it's just not, it doesn't taste any, it's not like this at all. Wait, wait, time out. What, what, what was it? What? So th- there, there is, it's called salmon caviar, mm-hmm. that, but that's, I think that's more of a branding thing. Was oh, that the salmon farms? And what? it is salmon babies. It, they look like uh, kind of like little orange bobas, but they're bigger than this. They're probably like this big, each one. Oh, that's too big. And they, they have like a saltier taste, but, but it's just, this is, when I think of caviar, I definitely think of sterling caviar. And how, for anyone who hasn't tried it, how do you describe what we just ate? I can't, I'm gonna have to take a little bit, just like no, just take a spoonful. Again, to me, it really didn't taste like much more than salt with a little bit of flavor. I don't know. I think when you get a, a lot of it, you really do start to get the fish. I think. Hmm. I didn't really get a fishy taste. Here we go. It. I mean, it is good. It. It like. It just tastes salty and it has a fishiness to it, but it's not like over, like overly fishy. Mm-hmm. Like I can see why people like it. So back to the so at Brian's birthday with the with the caviar martini, I was at the 
just I was sitting next to him at dinner and I was looking at the menu and I heard him order a drink and I heard him say martini and I went, oh, you know what? Martini sounds good. It's like, can I have one? Does the same thing he's having? He didn't tell me. He didn't tell me <laughs> that it was a caviar thing. He that, so it comes with the martini glasses and then like, that one's on you. And then how is that on me? If he brother, orders if I, something if I, if, bro, and you say that sounds good, I'll have one as bro, well. Bro, if you I, cannot blame him for what he if, ordered. If you ordered like a sugar piss um, daiquiri, a sugar piss. if you ordered a sugar piss daiquiri, and and I wasn't paying attention, I was like, oh, can I? Would he have any? And I, I would at least say, you like that. I would at least say that, and you'd be like, "What?" And then I would. First of all, I mean, you're you're stupid for ordering a martini anyway. Those suck. Okay, well, martinis suck. How about you just? I, I I can't do this with you. Too. I can't do this. With you. But either either way, it came and there was like a lemon peel boat and a bunch of caviar on it. Mm-hmm. And uh, what also he didn't tell me is that th- the martini doesn't come with the caviar. It's you. It's a fifteen dollar addition to it. <laughs> <laughs> that I feel like I should have been told. That one maybe someone somewhere should have told me that. Either the waiter, Brian, somebody. Charge you fifteen dollars to ruin your martini. <laughs> yeah, he charged me fifty dollars to piss salt eggs in my martini. I'm and not gonna lie, Danny's I'm liking really it. getting yeah, into yeah, this now. Yeah, Danny's really. See, this is why he did this. This is why he did it. Yeah, we gotta take mm. that food away from him. Yeah, we gotta take this. Why it's too crunchy over no, there? No, it's just like when you get it the right. It doesn't smell good. When you get the right balance, it really is a pretty delicious bite. It doesn't smell good. The taste was very familiar, and I can't put my finger on it. And when I smell it... It tastes like fish now. I mean, it smells like fish now. Not, that one, it does. It smells Definitely a little oceany, a little, for sure, a, but like it's not fishy. The fish-y. tiniest bit. No, it's more... I'm so sorry. It smells like the ocean and not like fish. I'll be honest. It's more cheesy than anything. Oh. Well, that's crazy. I don't know. If you I don't think know. this smells like a cheese? Like, if you smelled the thing of cheese, of a new cheese you never tried, and it smelled like that, you wouldn't be like... It definitely... It doesn't smell fishy. It, it's the slightest... It smells like cheese? Yeah, a little bit. It doesn't smell like fish. A little Stop bit of cheese. Stop saying that. Answer my question. A little bit of okay, cheese. Okay, I can see a cheesiness. This is fine. I can get a cheesiness. Give me that pack. I can Give me that pack right now. Think, imagine cheese. Imagine cheese. Imagine cheese. No, it tastes like... Uh, if you Tates. dumped, so, it smell. I can't. My brain. It smells like if you dumped, um, if if it rained, and then mm. you accidentally like put salt in it. it. It smells like it rained after they prepare for ice in the street. I also get the. I also get the fret, the creme fraiche. It had a little smoothness. I like it. Would you stop eating the goddamn? I'm crack- sorry. Would you stop eating the goddamn crackers? I like it. I'm glad we picked nice today. Um, yes. You thought something's fishy. I knew everybody that would get that would ca- ca- catch you off guard there. No, but there's nothing fish about it, apparently, according to you. I mean, it, I didn't say there's nothing fish about it. They are fish eggs. It's disgusting. It's so weird that we take fish and we go, hey, give me your eggs. Yeah. But we do that with chickens, too, and I love a good egg. Love eggs, dude. So, yeah, there goes the entire budget. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was looking at the budget for today, and when even when you open that, I'm like, how is it? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Well, and this is only week one, right? True. This, this is, is not for me. <clears throat> I'm glad I tried it. No, yeah. You, where else would you have tried this? You wouldn't try that at a restaurant. Well, I'll let you. I'll let you know this much. I because because I was planning all these feature ones, and I'm thinking, eh, I'm gonna spend money in somewhere, and usually I'll probably spend money on the bad things. So I wanted to have one good good thing there to spend go. money on. Yeah, Come no. on, you gotta splurge a little bit here. No, it's fair. It's fair. It's fair for sure. But um, yeah. Would is there is there a ever a chance on the planet that you would order that at a restaurant <sighs> again it would be like, i'm not talking about the like this. this was before this i'm talking about like the price oh because the price at a restaurant Bro, would be the, the price would be probably like 20 bucks and you would get like this 0.2 ounces of it yeah this well now of course it's always better to buy it yourself yeah it, it would have to be i never tried it you want to split it with me? I, I kind of want to just see what the hype's I can't about. Can't split point one ounce. I will split point one ounce. I, I just had that. one cracker with one thing. That's that, that's what they would. You can't split that. I'm splitting it. I don't know. I I was I was kind of interested, you know, and in like what are the differences between these like because they just kept getting more expensive and not getting bigger at all. So well, I don't like, I don't know what the difference necessarily is. Yeah, I don't think that's like that's not There's fair no because way because you could you could have five wine bottles in front of you the same. Volume and I know, but wine just seems more in, in depth to me. You know, I don't know. I disagree. I feel like you know you could get a, a steak from Costco and then a wagyu steak at a restaurant. It's like that's it's true. meat, but it's that all, one was massa- specifically. But that because, one was massaged because all of the all of the standard caviar was sterling, which I think is the fish. 
<laughs> what, what? If it's not the fish, what is it? Silver? I don't fucking know. What? Sterling Jesus, silver? Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, is, anyway. Is caviar one of those things that, like, they used to just throw it away. It was kind of just a byproduct. Like we're Probably. trying to, we're trying to, we want, we want fish, and you know, you catch a pregnant one, you go, ah, get rid of this egg sac. <laughs> it's throwing away hundreds of dollars, thousands, yeah, I guess. Yeah, before they knew that. Oh, if we put these in a different pond, we could have more fish. You know what? If we put it in a little jar, little tiny jar, we can sell it for twenty times as much as the fish itself. When you when you really think about it, caviar is a fish fucking business. They want their they want horned up fishes. Hmm. Is anybody? Is anybody? <laughs> I'm just. I'm just saying. He's not. He didn't say anything false. That's true. Does anybody really? What are we? Um. I mean, in a way, I guess that's farming in general. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, which which business is not in the animal Wait, what? making love business? Name two. Well, here we go. Chicken, chicken eggs aren't chicken fertilized, eggs, oh. so you don't want them to be fucked. Otherwise, it becomes it becomes put it in the jar. It becomes balut. Oh, right? by the way. <laughs> JT uh, owes at least four bucks. We are bringing back all of December and on Patreon.com, the podcasts, patreon.com slash picky boys, the Danny curse jar. If anybody curses, we're going to put a dollar in this jar. What happens at the end of the month? Dinner? Um, Drinks? Yeah. You got to do something with it. And this is definitely not because YouTube's kicking our butt with, uh, no. you know, <laughs> our swearing. And yeah, we, we didn't seem to care about that because right after YouTube gave us a warning, we did the... the after Dark Tapple episode, which mm. was just <laughs> about, I don't want to put money in the curse jar, but it was about things. No, at the end of the day, at the end of the, the year, we're going to give this to Jason, and then he's going to use it to buy his drinks. Oh, yeah, thank I like you, that. Jason. We'll give it to Jason as a thank you. <laughs> and then he's going to be used to buy his Yeah, but every time he curses, we take a dollar out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to curse. Not going to curse. All right. Do you, have even, do you even have money to put in the jar? Uh, I know he doesn't. I don't. I've got a five dollar bill and a one dollar bill, so I got six curses on me today. You got six curses, Fuck. buddy. <laughs> see, this is what the, <laughs> see the problem is. This is what the curse jar does. You well, think, you gotta you gotta start it with one. I mean, think, come on. You think it helps, and it never helps. What what counts as a curse? Oh, it's anything that would get them monetized on YouTube. Uh, so a, a damn or a hell's fine. No, that's fine. Yeah, Crap, yeah, damn and hell. Crap's fine. fine. Crap's fine. Crap's fine. I, I don't what about want, a sheet? I don't really want it. That's oh. fine. Oh. No, he said S H E E T. Okay. I said sheet, sheet okay. of paper. Okay. So sheet counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that rule, honestly. I think I think sheet. How about you go the... fuck yourself? No, no that's way no, too close. No, no. Wait, wait fuck. It's fuck. Pay up, buddy. Wait, pay that's up. That's not a curse. No, you gotta pay up. Wait, too wait, close. Go look up fuck in the dictionary. If we do YouTube captions, it's saying that word because that's no, that counts. Put it in. Put it in. Also, I don't know if a tidbit of information. That is the first jar we used that I saved. That's true. We, we did this, like, I don't know, probably the first year of the podcast. First year of the podcast. So if you remember this from the first year, comment down below. If you remember that from the first year, I'm happy you're still fucking here. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in there. Put it in there. Yeah, um, I can, will say I was shopping today. What is this you, can have, you can have one curse. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> use it wisely. <laughs> you're like somebody's parent. Yeah. Like, oh, use it. Spend it wisely. You can have one curse. <laughs> I mean, you go to the store, you can have one curse. But I went to the store today, and I got fucking... <laughs> There's no way. That was a big... I That's swear crazy. to God. There's no way. Crazy. It was not... I only have $5. Can you well, make change? Yeah, now you just have to now do I four have to, more. Now I have to break it. <laughs> Yeah, but there's there's um, interest, so you only get four dollars for this five. This will make you That's curse absurd. more. <laughs> it's it's my exchange rate. Um, so I was in a store. Ah, I was going to the store. and I was parking. It's just a store. Sorry, I was going to the store. I was parking, and uh, we know when I got there, there was a guy who was kind of along the lines, the parking lines. You know, he's a little bit over, so I had to go subsequently a little bit over. Mm -hmm. Park there, do my shopping, come back. I have never been squeezed in so much. Like I, I should have taken a picture, honestly. How do you not take a picture? I know I really should have. It was it was impossible for me to get in on either side of the car. I was like, what am I gonna do? I was so concerned and there's people like there's people it was a very busy day and so there's people like behind me who are like, Are you leaving? I'm trying to get in the parking spot. <laughs> I was like, I can't get in, I can't get in, sorry. <laughs> you know the uh the trunk, you can put down the back seat, you're gonna have to go through there. Yeah, how'd you get in? That's exactly what I did. Oh my god. That's exactly first of all, no, you did first, not. Oh my dude, I had that I was first I looked around for people for like ten for ten minutes. I they, they, nobody's coming. I have I have a turkey with me. And I and, That's and, for a different reason. <laughs> yeah, that, you you already saw that. And uh 
I, I didn't know what to do. And as you know, my trunk is a second uh, storage container for me. I have a lot of shit in my trunk. Yeah. <laughs> for, for Danny to get through his trunk, how I'm picturing it without taking it oh out, God. it would be like one of those cave divers, you yeah. know, like like in the devil's hole or whatever it is. Yeah, no. What I did was I put everything from one side of the trunk onto the left side of the trunk, narrowed out, a, burrowed out a hole for myself, like a, like a squirrel or mole or something. It was definitely a burrow because I've seen your trunk and it had to be a burrow. That's the only way. Yeah. How do you not record yourself? And then, <laughs> and then I'm going Dude, you through. You should have did it like the I cave. Can, I can only imagine like the people <laughs> driving down in the parking lot just see a trunk with somebody's legs like sticking out of it. I finally get there. Honestly, getting from the back seat into the front seat was also kind of a lot. Because it was just like, it was just hard. It's just very hard. And then I'm, I'm backing out. The guy comes immediately. It's yeah, just like, well, it I, never, ever works. But you could have never happened you correctly. Ever. You could have waited an hour and then went, fuck it, I'm doing it. And the guy would have came right after. Here, go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, now you need another dollar. Now you need another uh, oh, dollar. That's on me. That's, that was on me. <laughs> no, um, no, yeah, you could have waited an hour to do it. And when he, once you got in through the trunk, which psychotic, by the way. That's <laughs> what what was did. I supposed to do? I needed to leave. I had places to be. I mean, some, I'm not saying you had another choice. Sometimes you're forced to be a psychopath, but you're still a psychopath. And by the way, it wasn't for a lack of trying. Like I did, I opened the car door and like slightly pressed it like to his car and I just couldn't get it. It was How that you, close. God, you got to You got to set your brain on like picture mode that's like you need you need to take pictures of that i know but um how long until you had the like idea of the trunk thing i think i, it, I had the idea almost immediately yeah, and oh i God. said i'm not gonna do that come on i'm not gonna be on, that bro. guy like, i'm not Dude, gonna do i'll this. be honest if i was the guy on the driver's side and i walked out and i saw danny's leg sticking out i might have waited <laughs> yeah might, he was just filming yeah, for... <laughs> yeah. i might have waited 10 minutes and then when you're halfway into the drunk like really in there i've been like oh you want me to you want, <laughs> you want me to move also it was i, I mean obviously uh it was two gigantic trucks right L like small penis trucks <laughs> for sure that counts that does not count well of course you want it it's to a count. it's a biology term it's, if, right. it, if it's in a science textbook, it does not count. Uh, micro, micro penis is a medical condition. Exactly. JC. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I would know. <laughs> so that's what all those I've textbooks I've tried to get the diagnosis reversed many times. Yeah. Have you ever entered a car through a trunk? Or exited one, maybe? I don't know what happens to you on a daily. <laughs> I would, if I, I wouldn't even put myself in that position. But uh, this is why you need a sunroof. Just hop through the sunroof. <sighs> yeah. I think no. I'd rather do the trunk. No. When I get dr First of all, I, you can't even open your sunroof without getting in your car. You can have it in the button. A convertible, that's what you need. And then I'm going to drop down? Yeah, like Mission Impossible. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not as weird as you having to move your whole house from your trunk and burrow through sun like you're a worse. cave diver. That's true. Sunroof's worse. No way the sunroof. I'm burrowing. It is worse. I'm going through... This is what they call the lemon squeeze, and I'm vlogging the whole thing, and I'm squeezing. Yeah, through. yeah, yeah. Put it, put the. Also, closing GoPro. the trunk was difficult as well. I feel like you should have just backed out a little bit and then got out. And then well, there was just so much stuff. I didn't want it wait, all to fall. Wait, how'd you out. wait? You closed it? Yeah, of course. All right, now I, I now I actually don't I believe the story. I crawled through. I'm now I'm in the back seat, and now I flip myself around and just pop down. That was easy. I, doesn't your car have a thing where if the keys are in the trunk, it won't close? Yes, but what you just put the keys over there. So you put the keys in the in the front yeah, yeah, or in yeah, yeah. the in the little dish. Hmm. And then he, he put it in the dish, crawled back. Oh man! Pulled the trunk down. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm just kind of. It was it was it was a low moment in I, my I'm life. Kind honestly, of just, I'm trying to wrap my head around how much money I would I would pay at least 14 caviars to watch Danny do that again. Honestly, it, it was it was so ridiculous. I would not be surprised if it's on somebody's like Facebook page. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would I would take where it was if this? I saw it. It was in the Stop and Shop parking lot. We gotta get that security footage. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to get that security footage. I'm gonna see if they can. Oh my god! If I got that security footage, that'd be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I'm gonna look for it. I'll put it on. I'll, I'll figure it out. I could also. I mean, if you want me, to, if you really want me to, maybe I could do it like a reenactment. I don't want you to do a reenactment. Ah, uh, okay. You know, is there still a burrow, or has it been closed up? 
I mean, I, I, it's, it's de- there. You can definitely see one side was favored, <laughs> but I, I pushed a lot of the stuff to the side. <laughs> he, he covered up his tracks after he covered his hole. <laughs> well, I just need. I had more stuff, so I needed to put. I needed to make room for the turkey. Yeah, that's true. How'd you get the turkey in there? I just put it on top of this. It's the shit. <laughs> This is, so <laughs> this is week one. Jason's going to be rich at the end of this. Jason. That's at least a whole bottle of Captain Morgan's going to be in there for free for Jason. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell doesn't count. No, hell He's doesn't good. count. Why is it hell? That's not, that's not a textbook. Well, you said damn crap. Yeah. What Crap's in a textbook. Hell? When, which textbook crap is that? Is in a textbook. <laughs> what textbook? I don't know. I got to read JT's micropenis book again. It might be in there. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, any news? <laughs> yeah. Let's, Local let's, man let's gets into a, trunk of car. Yeah. Let's do a news and uh, get out of here. A human in bear suit was used to defraud insurance companies. Officials say footage of a bear rifling through luxury cars was submitted to an insurance company, which paid out one hundred and forty thousand dollars. But something seemed off. Yeah. So I think this was fuck. What's oh this? shit. Yeah. So oh. this is this is the bear suit. It's all right, Jason. Cursed. It's a wash. It's a wash dollar, Jason. Oh, cursed. Okay. Did I? Yeah. Careful, Jason. You you losing you losing the bills over here. <laughs> yeah. This is the suit. Uh, you know, looking at it from here, it doesn't look too good. I don't I don't see how an insurance company or anybody would be fooled at all. Well, it's on the ground. It also that is true. But those claws. Look at those. Those look like kitchen. Utensils. They are. They're. They're. Yeah, they're, they're, they they're shredders. Have, you don't see that part. Yeah, you don't see the claws. Oh. Is, is there a no, video? No. no is there, yeah, there's, there's a video. There Jason. is a video. There is a video. All right, let's let's watch. Let's watch the video first. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's watch, watch the video, video. first. So, let's these, be the judge. These people claimed that a bear uh, damaged their car, and they filed insurance claims based on it, yeah. and uh, they submitted a video along with their claim. Mm-hmm. So multiple cars. This bear went to multiple cars, mm-hmm. quote unquote, and destroyed the interior and exterior. All right. Let's see. So you tell me you're going to see the claws from this point of view? Okay. Off rip, it looks really good. This it, is what it, I was going to say. It looks pretty oh, good. Wait, keep watching it. Um, keep watching it. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Also, why wouldn't... Okay. Right, right, right here, there. Right great. here. You're still doing great. good. Still... Mm, no. Getting worse. Still, no, no, now it's okay. This is still fine. Nah. Mm. There it is. There it is. The movements are quite human-like. And there it is, and I, you see his ass. It's every joint movement that makes it weird. And he just opened the card. <laughs> right there, it looks really good. And then what does he do? He takes the claws and just scratches the seats. That's yeah, what like he's that. doing. Those yeah. hand movements right there. Okay. Oh, my that God. That is yeah. sh- strikingly similar to me getting into the car, by the way. That's, I'm not going to lie to you. I, th- I thought this was going to be a big elaborate prank, and Jason was just going to show the footage of <laughs> But dude, they they I think they pulled this off too because didn't they they did it for like four cars and they got away with three of them or something, and then the fourth caught on, and then obviously they all got notified. Yeah, no, they paid out. Uh, so this happened in Southern California. It says, uh, uh, it was three different insurance companies. Okay, and they collectively paid out one hundred forty thousand dollars. So they did pay out, and then they realized something seemed off, and investigated. Only one, yeah. Only one of the companies reported the video. No. Why not put a real bear in the car? That's expensive. Just plus leave, plus, leave food in your car, like leave the window cracked. Yeah. Or just leave it, leave it open a little bit. That's a good point too. Wait, how does how does one make money from this? Because now you just have a damaged car. I actually don't understand this this scheme. Maybe they got a guy who you know re reupholsters cars. And he, but why would he talk about the payout? Not why, like, why, no, why, no, I know, but I'm saying like the payout is for to fix the car now. Well, yeah, yeah for sure. Why would so they, if you can reupholster on the cheap, then you can keep the dividend, you know? But why? why He's saying would, they got a guy, yeah, to to do it for cheap, and they're just. Gonna but get there's paid no way you could convince an insurance company that it's going to cost 140k, right? They're, are they, are they no, taking out a, over the four cars? 140 yeah, divided by four uh, collectively. So 50, no. Forty? No. Thirty? It's five? It's like luxury cars. It's like thirty five grand to reupholster it? And they're saying it I just don't really get the scheme. I don't understand how you make well, money well, from it. Let's read this. it, read it. Oh, it was a Rolls Royce. Yeah, it was a Rolls Royce. That'll okay. do it. Ro- now we're help. getting there. Rolls Royce. Um so it's a luxury car. Upon further scrutiny of the video, the next is determined the bear was actually a person. Um, dude, getting caught doing this is the funniest part, I think, to me. It's, it seems like they said that the... Um, Clearly a human in a bear suit. That's what it says. It seems like the 
the scratches were the actual smoking gun here. Yeah, I think they were yeah. perfectly parallel, yeah. like even scratches. And that's so again, this is my point. They almost got away with it. If dude, if they did that video a little better, a little like why be on camera for even that long? They just needed to be like thirty seconds, a little bit of movement, and then bro, if out if, of there. if they just that one shot of the bear going in, yeah. be like, oh yeah, no, and then, for sure. And then scratches, and, then and you know, it. you could take a plier, bend the bend the hook, bend the claws a little bit, just make them a little sporadic. Yeah, not just look like meat grinders. How is this a four man job? Four people get arrested for this. Well, four cars, right? I thought it was. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was probably one guy, and it worked, and then, and then he was like, "Guys, it, I got it, something really I, good for dude, you." Dude, I'm here. cooking up something you guys won't believe. It's <laughs> me in a bear suit. There's. Fifty thousand dollar bond. Arrest, Investigators consulted a biologist at the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. <laughs> That's when you know it's over. <laughs> oh yeah, once you bring the biologist, dude. I would love being the detective or the investigator that comes in and goes. So which one of you was in the suit, dude? That'd be the f dude. Love that. The insurance company said the operate. It was called Operation Bear Claw. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. That's cool. That's too easy. That's cool. That's too easy. <laughs> They were they were dealing with a particularly dexterous bear. And the other one was that's true. And the other one was a Mercedes Benz. <clears throat> yeah, two. The other two were Benz. Two Rolls. No, a Rolls one. Royce. Two Mercedes Benz. God damn. Why? How about here's an idea. Don't do this. By the way, I've never seen Mercedes Benz plural. Mercedes Benzes. How do you spell it? Never either. B e n z e s. I, I I figured it was like what you said. It's just like it already is plural. Like here's a few Mercedes Benz. When did I say that? Just like you just were talking about Mercedes Benz. Oh, I said two Mercedes Benz. Yeah. I guess yeah. I wouldn't have said Benzes. So the, wow, Danny's listening now. Look at that. The the three times they got away with it. Do you think the insurance agents just like they watched the video, barely paid attention, and just passed it off, or do you think that a guy got it and went, "What the fuck is this? You know what? This is not well, worth my time." Oh. Uh, and then just uh, he's, he's got to put in a dollar. I, I owe a dollar, and, and then they just like, <laughs> I don't have any dollar. I don't know what to tell you. You got you, next podcast. Christmas. You got to come with dollars. <laughs> yeah, if you don't if you don't come prepared to pay. By like, the if I'm an insurance agent and this comes across my desk, I'm not gonna launch an investigation, create a bunch of paperwork for myself. I'm just gonna go. Okay, yeah, bear destroyed the car. Also, <laughs> I'm sure it happens a lot too. Also, over at first before it racked up to 140 i'm sure at first it was okay like this is just just pass this along i don't want to do the paperwork you know yeah what a sinister way to end this article by the way well, humans have often blamed bears for their crimes just this fall people sought to frame bears for the killings in tennessee and montana yeah good comparison <laughs> <laughs> bears really, getting a bad rap yeah bears catching a lot of strays out here that but is why, that is such a funny sentence to write as a journalist just one line humans have often blamed bears no, for like, their crimes like, oh, how, are we, how are we gonna end this article and the person just goes i got this <laughs> um either way jt tell them where to find you let's get out of here you can find me on instagram at the j balls you can find me at Danny is watching. You can find me at Aunt Prisco and can't forget to follow The Picky Boys on Instagram, The Picky Boys on Twitch, The Picky Boys on TikTok. Yeah. Come on, baby. J Jason, did you put it in last week? What? I haven't put it in once. What? I think I put it in once. You put it in once? Why didn't you swap? All right. Just... I, I, under I understand Jason likes to have the three at the bottom here. So yes. put those three. Wait. Picky boys on TikTok. The picky boys on TikTok. Sure.